Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you the basic design features in Protopie. Let's get started. So when you come to the Protopie app and make a new pie, you will see this panel with a preview. But if you don't have a preview panel opened, you can also click this preview icon and you will see it. Okay, so as I mentioned in the previous video, if you choose your device size or any custom screen size, you will see this native device frame. But if you don't want this, you can also click here to disable it or enable it. And of course, you can also zoom in or zoom out here. And if you want to change your background, you can click the scene. And on the right side panel, you're going to see this background color that you can click this color square to change it directly from the color picker. Or you can use the hex code or there's a pre-filled color. You can use it directly. Or you can also use this void to pick any color you want as you wish. Okay, for now I'm gonna use this gray here and leave the fill to 100%. What is cool about this system status bar is when you check it, you're gonna see the, the native status bar, system status bar, <laughs> difficult to pronounce. Um, and you can change the color of it as you wish. You can see it is white now, here and here. Or you can also change the opacity of it. And you can see that it's changed. But for now, I'm gonna make it 100%. And you can also change the background, but be aware to make the fill 100%. Then you will see your background also on your status bar. So I'm gonna make it to the dark gray for now so that you can see that I changed it. Um, yeah, so this is a basic settings. You can play around with. And next I will show you the layer property. So I'm gonna make a, a rectangle shape and the shape, shape icon. And here we are, we have this little white rectangle. And if you want to align to your screen, you can use here. You can see center aligned, left or right align, or top, center, bottom. I guess most of you are familiar with it, but you can find your alignment option on the top, on the right corner. And here you have a preview. You can see your, what your size is and the position it, but I mostly you look at this panel because the value is bigger that I can look at really quickly. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. You can see the position of it. Of course, you can move around manually, but you can also just type in as you wish. For example, like 20% uh, 20 pixels on the top. Oops, I need to relocate it. Wait, sorry, I was relocating my mic. Um, okay, so I can also make the X position with the value or Y position with a direct value. And I can also change the width of it, height of it manually or just Drag one at the corner here, and you can, of course, flexibly change this. And if you want to have resized proportionally, you can also lock this icon and it will resize proportionally. Okay. Next, you can also rotate your rectangle like this. But as you can see, this is pinned to the left side. So if you want to change your origin of your anchor, you can use this origin option 
also you can do manually or you can just use this anchor option then when I rotate now it's gonna rotate in a center position of course you can also again do it manually like 90% 45 degree okay I said percentage but degree and I will make it back to zero for now and you will see the constraints in the next section but I will skip it for now and tell you about it later okay and below constraints you will see opacity which is pretty straightforward as well you can play around with it and you can also change the radius here you can see even clearly from this preview and again you can change the fill with the different colors with the hex code and this void and also the fill opacity here and if you want to change the border luckily you can also change the border almost like a norm any other design tool like let's say I will put a yellow one no I like blue so I'll put the blue <laughs> and I will make the border width to 10 pixel and you can make the border inside or center of the, the shape or outside of the shape but I guess this is same how the other design tool works so I'm gonna uncheck for now if I don't want to use it and I'm gonna add shadow which you can also select the color and the fill and also X Y blur um, so let's say 20 Y then you can see in the Y position the shadow has been extended and you can have blur like let's say 40 super extreme but you're gonna see the blur has been spread it out now so yeah you can you have like most of the basic design capabilities here and what is pretty unique in this layer property is this touch area which is pretty handy so how you can use this is of course you can make a even touch area or you can uncheck this and just have a different um, touch area so eventually let's say if you want to have small icon and it's too small to press it or touch it if you have a big thumb then if you make this touch area you will have like extended um, touch area that you can trigger your action so this is more like how the code works so it was nice that I don't have to make um, extra transparent layer just to make it touchable so yeah have fun with this one and next one is make lower layers touchable so I think I've already used in some of my tutorials and videos so when you check this uh, sometimes it's just in a it's just inevitable to to make an interaction um, over under something I don't know if I make sense so but let's say if I make um, tap interaction underneath the, the screen or let's say there's like a, a shadow on top of my interactive components and you you can never change the top layer let's say that's how you designed it then you might be stuck with this interaction oh my gosh so I made this interaction below this rectangle and how can I make this touchable then this is the right option that you can click on so it's like a it suddenly makes the the elements invisible like tra transparent like in the concept wise so you will see the shape or elements as it is but the interaction option will go right through i hope it makes sense but um, you will see in the next videos or previous video that i made how i'm using this make lower layers touchable 
but if it doesn't make sense, please uh, leave a comment that uh, if you need a help. Okay, so I'll uncheck it for now. And this check button is uh, a mask. So let's say if I have make an oval and I made this square as a user's mask, this oval, uh, let's say I'll make it pink. So this won't appear until it comes to the mask area. So this is like the basic masking function, like any other design tool. Okay, I will erase it for now and uncheck it. Oh, not this one. Yes. So we have this rectangle back and we're almost done. So lastly, last but not least, <laughs> I wanted to show the constraints option. So when you make a container, you can also add a different container option or you can have this command G for um, like grouping option. Then this is going to have the same effect to make this container. The funny thing is like normally design tools uh, for normal design tools, when you group them, group them. It has the same size as what you grouped, but in Protopy, when you make constraints, it has this independent way of um, shape or area. So when I put this rectangle inside, so now you have this container with a transparent background or area, and the rectangle is inside of it. And we, when we click this rectangle and use this constraints option, we can do many funny things. For example, I want to pin this uh, rectangle on the top. So when I position to the top and resize it, it's gonna pin it, but I failed just now. The reason is that, <laughs> of course, this was planned. Um, the reason is that I put it on the container. Um, so the thing is, you need to put this inside of the elements, so on the elements. So when I do this on the rectangle, now it works. So I pinned on the top, so now when I resize the container, it stays on top because it's pinned on top. See? And let's say if I want to pin on the bottom, and I pinned, select this pin on the, the bottom and it's gonna now following the bottom area. And this fixed width and height means your element size will not stretch while you're resizing the container. And if you want to just make it like center, you can also do it by unchecking this uh, pin area and when you just resize it it's gonna float in the middle and if you want this to be changed with your box you can check let's say i want to check on the top corner to be resized um you can actually check without this but i don't know what the bug is but somehow i have to undo it and do it again okay so strange things happen sometimes but i have to make again to make those resized option but again so if i want to resize it with the container I can make the width fixed so I'm gonna unselect the height but I will make the top and bottom pinned to each other so now when I do this now it's gonna resize on top but when I stretch on the left side the width stays the same you can do it another way around you can also fix height and pin 
at the left and right, then now it's going to have the same height, but it's going to be sized to left and right, like this. Great, so I hope you can play around and have fun uh, with the constraints option. And I want to give you one more tip, which is really great, is iOS background blur. So if you click the shape option, you will see this iOS background blur. And when I click it, you're going to see this a little box. And when it's on top of the shape, you can see that it's making a background blur. And when you go to the top, not top, <laughs> right option, you're going to see different option for blur effect. So it can be light, extra light, dark, which is works below iOS 12. So these three options works in that operating model, no, operating system. And under here, you have more options for iOS 13 or higher. So apparently, I guess it works only in iOS, uh, but I haven't tried on Android. Um, so yeah, so if you want to have a different iOS background effect, you can play around. They have light and also dark. So yeah, this is one of the things that I really liked in Creative Pride. And that's for it today video, this video. So if you liked it, please press like and subscribe and press notification bell to get notification. And I hope to see you in the next video.